What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rodney, and what is good? I decided to do something to tell a story. Um, since I have not told a story since like Christmas of 2015, and I've had a lot of stuff that's happened to me, and you know, I just want to share. So, what I decided to do for this video, I decided to tell you guys the story of how I got fired from American Eagle. Yeah, your girl got fired. Now, let me say this before I do get into this video because I don't want nobody to think I got fired but because I was doing some, you know. <laughs> I got fired because of laziness on the behalf of managers and stuff like that. And I also like to say this before I get into the story. Your girl was like one of the best employees there. Like me. Like I, I ran that store basically. I really did. So you know I didn't get fired because of you know. Your girl wasn't working. Like I, I was there for two years. And let me also say, say this as well. I was there before I got fired. I was at American Eagle working there for two years. It was about to be three and a half years. The girl was there for two years before I got fired. So let's get that straight. Okay, I, I you know, I, I was there for two years. I wasn't there for like six months, a year, or three months, two months, two weeks. No, your girl was there for two years. Let's get that straight. Let's start from like the beginning so I can give y'all the tea of like how I got fired from American Eagle. Let's, let's start. So, if you watch my life video, I think it's like life part two, something like that. I told you guys I moved to Charlotte. And yes, your girl moved to Charlotte. I moved to Charlotte in August, the first week of August of 2017. Now, my aunt, prior, my cousin that lives in Charlotte prior to this reached out to me um, mid-July, asked me if I wanted to move to Charlotte. And I was like, sure, okay. So, I have really nothing bad to say about the managers because one, I'm a nice person. I I am not a mean um, person unless you cross me. Once you cross me, then you will get the mean Rodney. Right, now, not everybody gets that side, but some people do get it, and some people have gotten it at, at American Eagle because they crossed me the wrong way. But anyway, don't try me. <laughs> so I was there for two years. Um, now my cousin asked me to move Charlotte, so now I told the managers at the time, like I said, the managers are very, very good, you know, I really don't have nothing negative to say about them, all that I am going to say about them is that the two that were supposed to handle the situation are lazy as f that's the only thing I'm going to say about them, and if they're watching this video, it's true, girl, if you want to meet up with me, and you want to fight sis, we can do it, like, I, I can meet you right wherever you want to meet at, I mean, the truth is the truth, but not here to do that. We're not here to do that. We're not here to start any arguments or fights. So, I told my managers, like, hey, I'm moving to Charlotte. And also, I want to say this before I even, like, get into, like, me telling them I'm going to move. Me and one of the managers one morning had, like, like I said, even before I found out I was going to move to Charlotte, me and my man, one of the managers, the managers that was supposed to handle this at this time, we had a full like three to four we had a full no actually a week before i told i was gonna move we had like a full-blown conversation about how and like my hometown anderson is like not for like younger people like you know it's not built for younger people you know it's not there's nothing geared towards us you know with something you have to move and i was telling the manager which is to her i was telling her you know i want to move to charlotte and stuff like that you know i was telling her all this stuff and she was like oh my god i think you should move to charlotte like that would be the best decision for you girl like you should do it like she was giving me all this this bullshit. And I was like, okay, girl, you know, yes, I think I'm gonna do it. Like, girl, yeah. So, literally, I after this, my cousin texted me. Um, I think it was like a Tuesday or something like that. Asked me if I wanted to move to Charlotte the first week of August, and I was like, yes. So now, 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 if I get, now we gotta get into the TV. We gotta get into the TV. So now. I'm telling my managers, hey sis, you know, you know that conversation we had about you know us bettering ourselves, girl, moving out of this 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 flop ass of a town and stuff like that. I said just like that, cause you know, you know, I was, you know the girls, you know that's how we talk at the store at the store at the time. You know that's how we talk. She was like, yeah, what's up? What's tea? What's tea? I was like, 
So my cousin asked me to move to Charlotte, girl, and I said, oh my God, I'm so proud of you, girl. Like, you gonna do so good in America. You gonna do so good in Charlotte, girl. I'm so proud of you. Like, chase your dreams, girl. Don't worry about nothing here. And so I was like, yeah, girl. So what I'm gonna need from y'all is to transfer me from this American Eagle to the American Eagle in Charlotte, which the one was the which was the one by my cousin's house is the 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 the, the American Eagle at the North Lake Mall in Charlotte. She was like, "Okay, girl, yeah." So like, what's the store number? I gave all the store information. I even called the store and told them that I was transferring to the to that store in North Lake Mall, and I needed like the store number on it. So she made me, uh, so actually made me get all the information, so I got it. So you know, my last day of work. Uh, was on a Friday because I was off on a Saturday because I had to prepare, had to get my stuff together, had to pack stuff and all this type of job. So anyway, um, I'm thinking the transfer is being handled. So here we go, last day of work, you know, we're having fun, you know, they, you know, took me out to eat because it was my last day there and stuff like that, and which we always went to go eat. Um, that they were always generous towards me until I was there for two years, so I was one of the one of the people that they loved. Anyway, so it's time for me to go. You know, I asked them like before I left. I was like, okay, so is the transfer? How's transfer going? They was like, oh yeah, girl, we'll handle it, girl. Like, oh, live your best life in Charlotte, sis. We got you here, like, girl. Just don't worry about. It. We got you. We got you, girl. I said, okay, girl. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do what y'all say. So I moved to Charlotte um, Saturday, Sunday. And me thinking that my transfer was going to be handled actually before I moved to Charlotte because that's what I thought what was, was going to happen. Now, I dabble in a couple management stuff in American Eagle. I'm just going to say this. It does not take long for a manager to do a transfer in American Eagle system. Literally, it's like three clicks and you're done. So, I already know this. So. They're feeding me a whole bunch of BS and stuff like that. So I call, I'm in Charlotte. It's, I think I'm in Charlotte at this time for like a week now. And mind you, it's August. So mind you, I told them like three weeks before that, hey, transfer me to North Lake Mile store. So now it's the first week of August. It's, I think I called on Friday. I was like, hi, can I speak to the manager? I was like, oh, she's not here. You know, what's up? Like, what's going on? I was like, well, I'm not living in Anderson anymore. And, you know, the main manager was supposed to take care of my transfer. So I'm just trying to get some, get the tea on that. And that was like, um, I don't know nothing about that. But, you know, as soon as he gets here, blah, 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 blah. You know, I'll tell him blah, 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 blah. So I was like, okay, well tell him to call me or text me. So I said, oh, I have this number because we used to talk all the time. I said, let me text him. So I text him. And guess what? This girl did text me back. So I'm like, wait a, wait a minute, girl. Like, wait a minute. Like, like, we used to text all the time. Like, me and you have discussed about communication, how we, you know, we, we talked about this. Like, we have already had this talk about how we hate when people text you and then like, you don't text them back. But like, we've had this conversation, like, that, and to the day, that still pisses me off. That's a pet peeve of mine, like, nobody's that busy that you cannot text somebody, but like, so if you have anybody that you're trying to ignore or something, like, let them know that you don't want to talk to them. Like, just don't text people back. Because people really do be worrying, like, what's, what's going on, what's tea, like, so that's my little pet peeve. Anyway, that's, that's beside the point. Anyway, so he texted me back. I was like, girl, so what's, the, what's the problem? I'm like, okay. So I, you know, didn't think about it. You know, I said, like, okay, it's going to be handled. That's what I'm saying to myself in my mind. Like, I was like, girl, they're going to handle this. That's it. Girl, <laughs> it's literally three weeks, I, it's three weeks in August. And I haven't heard, I haven't got a text back, I haven't got a call back, I haven't got an email, I haven't got a, a DM, I haven't got a messenger notification, Instagram DM, I haven't got nothing back from anybody at the store. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna call. So I called the store and I called at the time that he was working because we used to have this system, I'm pretty sure they still have this called Chronos, and you can see like which managers are working like on the system and my and mind you 
I wasn't fully terminated yet in the system because they were supposed to be transferring me, so I could still log on like on my the app on my phone, you know, and see like which manager is you know working which hours and stuff like that. So okay, so I'm, I'm logging on the app and I see that he was working that morning at from eight to five. So. And I knew what time he took his lunch because it showed that as well. So I called him about three o'clock. Yeah, I called about three o'clock, and I said, "Hey, can I speak to, you know, homegirl? Homegirl just on the phone. I'm like, sis, it's been three weeks. Um, I haven't heard anything. What y'all about this transfer? Like, what's tea? And he was like, oh. I, it slipped my mind like oh my god I'm so sorry I forgot to do transfer like I'm so sorry I'm going to do it I'm going to put a sticky note you know I'm going to write it down you know I'm going to put it somewhere so I can see it and I'm going to do it like right after I get off work or right when we get right when it slows down now mind you I worked at American Eagle for two years I know on a Tuesday afternoon was it Tuesday I think it was Tuesday there is nobody in America. Now, Mer um, Anderson is kind of big. I'm not gonna say it's big. My hometown is is, is medium sized. I'm gonna say that. And my mall is not that big. So there's nobody in the store. It's literally dead as a doorknob at three o'clock in American Eagle. And it's the summertime, so the kids are not even in school. So literally, there's no traffic in the store. So. I'm like, okay, I said, I know there's no traffic in the store, so why can't you do it right now? But on the phone, I was like, oh no, like, you know, I have to do something, I'm very, very important, I got a meeting, and, like, he was just trying to feed me a bunch of <laughs> like, okay, alright, sis, uh, uh, just do it, that's what I said, I said, okay, so, girl, I'm waiting again, now it is literally set. September. So my you guys, like, I, at this point I am pissed. Like I am, I am red hot. Like because I, I told y'all back in July. Like mind you, I told them mid July when my cousin texted me. I told y'all asses that I was moving to Charlotte. Let's get that straight. So I told y'all, and y'all told me it was going to be handled. September, I'm very very hot. I'm mad. I'm like I'm pissed at this point. So I called the store. And the other manager was there, not the main manager, but the other manager was a girl. She was there. And she picked up the phone. So I was like, what's T sis? Like, I could have told you about this fucking transfer and I cussed because I was pissed. I said, well, I didn't cuss. No, I didn't cuss, I'm sorry. So I said, what's T sis? I told you about this transfer in midweek of July. It's been it's been a full month and I have not heard anything from you guys. So she was like Oh, we terminated you. You. Oh, nah, you terminated me? I said, sis. I said, cut the <laughs> You got me, girl. Like, girl, you, that, the, girl, that's a joke, girl. <laughs> like, girl, like, give me real tea. She said, yo, we terminated you. I was like, why? So, why did you terminate me? Oh, well, you know, we looked at your history, you missed one day of work and, you know, transfer, we, we're very busy, we don't have time to transfer, like a whole bunch of and stuff, I was like, oh my god, so I said, okay, so you mean to tell me this, that I, I switched from like, <laughs> I switched from high to, okay, let's, like, let's take my earrings off, let's take this man off, let's get the fight. Like, I'll do three weeks ago. So, let me pause right here. So, before I actually put, put in a request for my transfer, there was another girl that worked in my store that needed a transfer to another American Eagle in Spartanburg, which is about 30 minutes from Anderson. Um, and they done her transfer in literally two seconds. The moment I ask for my transfer, a bitch gets terminated. Okay, 
So you mean tell me y'all fired me because y'all lazy as fuck and y'all don't want to do my transfer? She said yes. I said okay. So I said y'all really didn't have a reason to fire me. So number one, I had perfect attendance. Number two, um, I've been there for two years. I was there before you were even there. Um, and you know, I was one of the best employees in the whole entire store. And I had a lot, a lot of, a lot of sales and shit. The reason why we was number one and stuff like that in the region was because of my ass, like. To be honest, if we're gonna talk t real tea, let's talk real tea. Because I, you know, your girl worked every morning. I ran the store, literally, and y'all fired me. And she was like, "Yeah," like she was very nonchalant about the shit. Like that makes me mad. Like I hate when somebody like does something wrong and they just act like they didn't do anything wrong. Like that shit pisses me off so bad. So she was making me mad. Literally, I wanted to drive to Anderson, pull up to 31 from on North Main Street, go into the store for Fifth American Eagle, and beat her ass. Like, both of them up on site. Like, I was ready to beat, them, beat, beat their asses on site. She was like, yeah. So I was like, this is a bunch of BS, and I will be reporting you both to management at the American. I will be calling corporate about you guys and I hope you guys lose your job and I hope you guys live the rest of your lives in prison. That's what I said to them. And I hung the phone on their asses. Well, your girl filed a complaint on their asses and they both got fired. They got fired. Like, girl, you tried to fire me and you got fired. Girl, see? Like, like, one minute he said, when you do clownery, the clown comes back to bite. See, when you do clownery, the clown comes back to bite. And I called them, they got fired and stuff like that. And I have not went back to American Eagles of yet. I went in, in the store last week, and the man, and the one, one of the people that was, was there even before I was there, she was like, Oh my god, Randy, like, we need you to come back, like, please come back. Like, oh my god, and I was like, mm, I'll think about it, and I don't think I'm gonna go back, but. I'm gonna say this, American Eagle is a great company to work for. I have no way of doing any type of bashing towards American Eagle. I love American Eagle. American Eagle is one of the best, like I said, one of the best companies to work for for any teenager, any you know college student. It's literally the best company to work for. Cheryl got fired from American Eagle. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed that story. If you did, you know what I need for you to do. Go ahead and give this video a big old thumbs up. Also, go ahead and be a part of the fam. Click that subscribe button. Also, turn that bell on and know about you every time I have a new video out. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye. Hey, jump out. <laughs> like, Y'all can't be seen now. Bro, it's tired. She's exhausted.